Okay, let's start the sew along for my fall Nomi pattern. It's ME2053 and it's trousers that have two pleats and a faux coin pocket. And then a knit top that has neckties and then ruching along the bust. And this is probably one of my favorite patterns yet. I've probably said that every time, but I love these pants. Um, I'm already making my fourth pair and they fit so good and the back has let's See if we can get that to focus the back has welt pockets and it has two darts through the pocket And I just think it's such a cute detail here is a line drawing for the pants and the top I always recommend looking at the finished garments when choosing your size um, I'm making a size 10 and you're gonna need you're going to need a seven inch zipper i only ha could find a nine inch i'm gonna cut it to size and then you'll also need two five eighths inch buttons and one hook and bar closure all righty let's get started let's go over the pattern pieces okay so first I'll go over the top. Um, this is gonna be the upper front of the top. This is the lower front. Um, this is gonna be a, the tie for the neck, the sleeve, the back bodice, and this is the neck facing and that is a yoke. Okay, not all the pattern pieces show right here. So I'm just gonna show you the pants pattern pieces, each of them so that you can see what they are. Okay, I'm not gonna go in order. I'm just gonna pull them out as I get them. This is the back pocket piece and it's piece 16. You're gonna cut two out of your lining fabric. This is the pocket facing, it's piece nine and you're gonna cut two out of the lining. This is the side front and pocket. You're gonna cut two out of your main fabric. This is the um, the pocket flap. Um, you're gonna cut one inner facing and cut two main fabrics. This is the left fly and you're gonna cut two fabrics and one inner facing. This is the welt, and you're gonna cut two and cut two interfacing. Okay. This long one is the waistband, and you're gonna cut one and cut one interfacing. This is one of the, this is the back pant leg, and you're gonna cut two mirrored. Anytime I'm saying cut two, you're gonna cut them mirrored. And now we have the front leg and you're gonna cut two mirrored. And we have, okay, and we have the carriers. So this is the belt loops. You're gonna cut one of these. Okay, now I'm gonna open up the instructions. And I have already cut out my pieces and I have also fused the interfacing onto all the pieces that needed it. So this has interfacing on the back and I've already fused that. And then also be sure to have all your markings on the fabric. So make sure not to leave out any markings. Uh, these pants are very detailed, so you're gonna want all those. Okay, so like I just said, the first step is to apply the interfacing to these pieces. I have already done that. And the second step is to, to make pleats in front. So, so we're gonna, so the first step but after interfacing is we're gonna do the front pant leg and we're going to create the pleats. I'm gonna match up the lines that I have marked and 
That is the first pleat. I'm going to pin it. And then on this, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna match up these two lines and it ends at this other marking. And I'll pin it. Okay, so let me lay it flat so you can see. Okay, so the pleats, this is the, this is the crotch seam. Um, this, the pleats are going towards the pockets. Okay, so once I've pinned that, I'm gonna go stitch a line, I'm gonna do a line of stitching right here to hold the pleats down. And then I will repeat it on the other side. Okay, I have sewn the pleats on this and the pleats are going towards the pocket. And now, so this is the crotch seam is right here, the pocket's over here, the pleats are folding towards the pocket. Now I'm going to repeat that for the other leg. Okay, now that you have um, basted both pant legs with the pleats going towards the pocket, I'm gonna go press the pleats down. Um, on this outside one, I'm actually gonna press the pleat all the way to the bottom. I just kind of like how that looks, um, but you don't have to do that. And I will be right back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've pressed the pleats and like I said, I um, pressed my inner pleat, the inside pleat, all the way down to the bottom. And now we will move on to step three. Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna get the pocket facing and we're going to put it right sides together with the front leg. And then once we sew it at 5 eighths inch, we'll trim it and then we'll um, understitch it and fold it inwards. And so... Okay, so I'm gonna, so now I have my pocket facing pinned right sides together on the front pant leg, and I'm gonna sew this at 5 8 inch on both pieces. I have attached the pocket facing and understitched it on the pocket side. You'll stitch the seam allowance down. And then that makes it so when you fold it over, that it doesn't poke out and it lays nice and flat. Okay, so we'll go and press the pocket underneath and I'll be right back. Okay, one thing I forgot to say um, at the very beginning, before you do anything with the pant leg, you're gonna wanna finish the edges. Um, you can do that with your serger or a zigzag stitch. It's not in the instruction, so you'll just wanna make sure that you do that. And also the crotch seam. Um, I'll go do that right now and be right back. Okay, now we're gonna need to get our pocket and we're gonna pin it to the pocket facing. Um, we'll match notches and then we'll stitch the lower edge of the pocket together. So, um, Okay, now that we've pinned the pockets onto the pocket facing, we're gonna go sew the edge of the pocket all the way over. And I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've sewed the pocket on, we're gonna baste the side edge right here below the um, pocket flap. So we'll just baste it right there on both sides and also at the top right here to hold the pocket down and the side. And 
Okay, so our first step on the fly is this step right here. And we're going to baste a line of stitching. Oh, let's see, no. We're gonna stitch front sections together at center front between large dot and notch. So it's just a tiny little spot right here that we'll be sewing. Also pin the notch. Okay, so we are just going to stitch from this dot to that mark at 5 8 inch, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna stitch from this large dot to this notch that was right here for each size, and I'll be right back. Okay, the next step is we're gonna turn in the left front opening edge along fold line. So on the left pant leg, we're gonna fold it in towards the inside of the pants. And Okay, so we'll just fold in right here and I will go ahead and press that down. I also clipped to that dot that was right on the crotch seam um, and it says fold line on the pattern piece. You're gonna go press this and we'll be right back. Okay, now, uh, now we're going to attach the zipper and it's on the side the left front where, that we folded under, you're going to match the zipper stop with the small dot where you ended, and then you're gonna place the ed the folded edge close to the zipper teeth and pin it. Okay, so now using a zipper foot, we're going to baste this in place. Okay, so I've based or I've stitched it so that the folded edge is close to the zipper teeth and the stopper ends at the small dot. And there we have the zipper. And okay, now we're gonna stitch the left fly and we're gonna stitch it right sides together. And you're gonna stitch on along the unnotched edge. So we'll stitch from here. So we'll stitch along the unnotched edge. So here, down, and around over to the side. And we'll leave this side free. Okay, after you've stitched it together, you're gonna trim the edges and then turn it um, right side out. So I'll press it and then we'll baste the raw edge shut. Okay, so now we're going to lay this over the left side, over the zipper, matching notches and small dots and large dots and matching the raw edges. And then we're gonna, we're gonna pin it and then we're gonna baste it in the exact same spot that we did before. Okay, so I'm gonna go stitch that and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have stitched this down, this is what it should look like. It'll go slightly above this. And the next step. Okay, now I'm gonna go take this piece and we're gonna go finish the outer edge and I will be right back. Okay, now we're gonna take the right fly facing. We finished the edges and we're gonna put it right sides together on the right opening. And this is over the right pant leg, right sides together. Okay, once we've pinned the right fly facing onto the right pant leg, we're going to stitch it um, from the top to the large dot. So we'll stitch it from the very top to and stop at this dot. All right, I'll be right back. So after you've sewed that down to the large dot, we're gonna trim it and then we're going to understitch it. So you're going to stitch the seam allowance to the fly facing as close as you can to this seam line all the way down.
And I'll do that and be right back. Okay, I've understitched the right fly facing. You can see it, the seam allowance is stitched towards the fly facing side. Um, now I'm gonna go press it under and then I'll pin it out of the way. Okay, now we're going, to, once we've pinned the fly facing down to the right side, we're gonna overlap the right side over the left, matching the centers. And then we're going to pin it and I'm gonna baste through all these layers right here. I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've basted this shut, I'm going to move the left fly facing out of the way, this part, and then I'm going to turn it around and we're gonna stitch the zipper to the fly facing, but not catching any other layer. So just this zipper to this. And you'll use a zipper foot and I will be right back and show you the next step. Okay, now that I've stitched the zipper to the fly facing, I'm going to I'm gonna pin this side out of the way. Okay, now we're going to stitch this down. This is gonna be the top stitching on the other side. Um, so you're just gonna stitch along the edge all the way over. Okay, now that I've uh, top stitched the fly, um, I'm going to hand stitch the inside. Um, you're gonna turn it around and you're gonna just slip stitch the fly facings together at the bottom right here. Okay, I've hand stitched that down and now we can undo this basting stitches. And There's the fly. And now we have the front done. And so now we're going to put the coin pocket pieces right sides together. And then we're gonna sew 5 eighths inch from the top down and then back up. Okay, I've pressed it and it's optional but you can top stitch the edges. Um, I'm not gonna top stitch it. Um, I'm gonna base the top closed and then I'm gonna do a buttonhole right here and I'm just gonna use an automatic button foot. Okay, so I've done the buttonhole. Now we're going to baste the coin flap on to the front pants and it's gonna go on the right front pants. So you can hold the pants up to you and then you'll just baste it up here and align the notches. Up and put it on top of the right front pants and I will clip it and then I'll baste it at 5 8 inch. Okay, now we are going to move onto the back of the pants and we're gonna first just stitch both darts and then we're gonna press the darts towards the center of the pants. Okay, now that I have pressed the darts towards the center of the pants, I'm going to remark the pocket because um, some of it erased when I was pressing it. So I'll remark that and I'm just gonna do it on this side. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is reinforce the pocket. So we're going to go do a line of stitches all the way around the edge. Okay, now that I've stitched around the pocket or around the outside, um, we're gonna cut it open. So we're gonna slash along this middle line and then we're gonna clip diagonally at these, at these marks in the corners. So when you get to the corners, we're just gonna clip diagonally to the corner, not clipping through the stitching. Okay, 
Okay. Now this pocket. Okay, so now we're moving on to the welt. We're gonna get the welt, fold it wrong sides together, press it, and then we'll baste it shut. Okay, so now we're gonna take the welt and we're gonna match the dot, the markings. So where, this, where these dots are, you're gonna place that along this seam line and you're gonna pin it. So this goes to the corner, this goes to that corner and then we'll just match it up. So I, I'll stick it through the marking and then, and then just match it up with this corner. And pin it in place. And then we'll do the same with this one. So match up this with the line. Okay, so once you have this pinned, we're gonna baste from this dot to this dot, just in a straight line. And that'll basically be basting along this bottom line. Okay, so I will go stitch from there to there and be right back. So you can see that I stitched it right where the bottom of that box we outlined was. And from the inside, looks like this. So you've basically done a line of stitching from here to here. Okay, so here's the pocket bag. Now we're gonna take the bottom of the pocket bag and that's what we're gonna attach to the welt. We're gonna do it right sides together and matching the dots. So as you can see, I have marks here. I'm gonna match it to the marks on the welt. And you can do it the same way that we attach the welt to the pants by sticking it in the mark and then matching it with that one. Okay. I'm going to stick it in this marking and then match it up with that one. You can also just match it up with the top of the welt. It lines up perfectly. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna stitch from this dot to this dot, just in a straight line. Okay, so after I stitch from this marking to this marking, I'm gonna repeat it for the other leg and I'll be right back. Okay, after you've sewed the pocket bag um, from marking to marking, we're going to trim the bag at the top and so you'll trim it even with the opening edge. Okay, once you've sewed the pocket bag, we're gonna turn it to the inside. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're gonna trim this. We're now going to turn the bag and the welt 
to the inside. I'm gonna go press the welt. We'll fold up this and fold in the corners and we'll press it. Okay. So we'll fold this pocket up also and it folds up and matches up with the top. And this, um, the welt, the stitching line matches up with the welt pocket. So I'll pull, okay, so once you've folded up the pocket, we're going to turn it around and we're gonna fold the top of the pants back. And then this part that we pressed, we will stitch. There's a stitching line that you made previously. We'll stitch that to this top of the marking right here. So I will go pin this and then I'm gonna stitch it along that line, aligning it, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've stitched the first bag. So this is flipped down. That little ledge that's folded back is stitched to the stitching line. And you can see I've stitched it right there. And now we're gonna stitch the triangle down right there so we're gonna stitch it right there so that it holds it down and I will do that and be right back okay so once you've flipped that down and sewed the top of the pants to the pocket bag um, then you can flip it forward and we're gonna go press this flat and I'll be right back. Okay, so you're just gonna base the top and then we're just gonna sew the sides from here, down, here, down. Okay, now that we have finished the front and the back, um, I also hand sewed this button onto the inside and now we're going to take the back legs and put them over the front and we're going to sew the inseams on both sides. So all the way down to the bottom and then we'll repeat on the other side. Okay, so now we're going to stitch the crotch seam. So we'll just match up We can start at the front because we had already stitched a little bit to the marking. Now we can match the center seams and then stitch it all the way up to the back. Okay, now that you have stitched the crotch seam, we're going to, um, we're gonna sew it right sides together at the side seams. So put the front over the back and then we'll just sew from the very top all the way down to the bottom. Matching the notches and so I'll sew that all the way to the bottom and be right back. Okay, so I've sewed both sides and now I have my pants and all I have to do is do the waistband and the belt loops. So I'm gonna set these over here. Okay, so for the belt loops, we're gonna take it and fold it in on both sides, one fourth inch. And then we're gonna fold it in half and edge stitch and we're gonna um, then top stitch it on the other side and that'll create one long belt loop that will cut into smaller ones. So I will go fold this in half, sew it together and be right back. Okay, so I finished the belt loops. Um, I've edge stitched and top stitched on the other side. 
And then we're gonna cut this into four sections. Each one will be three and three fourths inch long. And I will cut that. Okay, so I've pressed it, and you're actually only gonna press one side up, so just the bottom. And then we're going to pin it to the top of the pants. All right, I've stay stitched the top edge and um, stitched the belt loops on, and now we're gonna move to the waistband. Okay, we're gonna take the waistband and we're gonna turn it in and press it at 3 8 inch, right along the edge right there. And then after that, we're gonna take the top and fold it down and press it down 3 8 inch as well. Okay, so I've pressed these uh, left front and the top down 3 8 inch and now we're going to trim it. Okay, so now we're going to pin the waistband to the top of the pants and Okay, so we're gonna match all the notches and we're gonna pin it to the pants. Okay, now I have the waistband pinned on and I'm gonna go sew it at 5 8 inch. Okay, once we've sewed on the waistband, we're going to trim the seam allowance down and then press it upwards. Okay, so now I will go press the seam allowance up towards the waistband. Okay, now that I've pressed the seam allowance up towards the waistband, we're gonna fold. Okay, we're gonna fold the front waistband down like that. And we're gonna sew this at 5 8 inch. And then once we've sewed it, we're gonna trim it down. Okay, so I've sewed the waistband right there at the front. I'm gonna trim it down. And then you can... Okay, so there's the waistband is done in the front. I'm gonna go press this. Okay, so now that we've pressed the waistband and it's finished on the edge, we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna pin it and then I'm gonna hand sew the waistband down so that it looks nicer. I don't want any top stitching on this waistband. Um, on this side, let's see. 
You're gonna make sure, let me flip it. You're gonna make sure that the seam allowance is tucked in at the end and at the bottom. And then you're gonna fold this over and then we'll, and then we'll pin it and then we'll hand stitch it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin all this and I'll hand stitch it. Okay, so once you're done hand stitching the waistband, um, you can also do this on your machine, but um, I think it looks better without the top stitching. Some people like top stitching, so you can do that if you want. Um, but look how clean that looks. And on the inside, I just think it looks so good. So now we need to sew the belt loops. So you'll just fold them up and then you, we pressed under this edge. So you'll just fold it up and then top stitch near that top edge of the belt loop. And you'll do that for all four of them. And then we're gonna hem the bottom of the pants. You can do this on your machine, but I'm gonna um, do a blind hem and so it looks really clean on the bottom. You can do either way you want. And then the only thing after that that we have left is um, attaching the hook and bar. So, <clears throat> so I will go sew the belt loops and then we'll do the hem of the pants. Okay, I just sewed all the belt loops on. It looks so good. And now I'm gonna press the hem up. And the hem, I believe, is Okay, so we're gonna turn the bottom of the pants up one and three fourths inch. And then I'm first gonna finish the bottom and then I'm gonna hand stitch the hem. You can also just do this on your machine. And then the last thing is um, the hook and bar at the top right here. And then we are done. And I think these are just the classiest looking pants and I can't wait to see everyone's versions of them. And I will go do the hem and I'll do the hook and bar and then I'll be right back. 